pick up the pace, Squire. We must hasten to our Looking next adventure. Looking forward to seeing what you make with Where that. Where your scribbles lead? Scribbles? I had to draw that map because you left the road to chase a fictional dragon. It's not my fault we're lost. Ah, friend! It's good to see you again. I hear you were the one who told my squire where the adventure was last time. My squire is in another mood, but I'm sure searching for enemies to slay will cheer her up. A minor setback, I assure you. We were going to stop a horde of bandits and elevate our names. But then a traveling druid told me about a dragon, and I confess my excitement got the better of me. No matter. We'll find some great villainy soon. Does it matter? Evil must be defeated wherever it is found. Otherwise it festers like a... like a... festering thing. My squire would have a good metaphor. She's angry with me. She feels that I failed to collect rations for this journey. Rations? Who needs food when adventures lie ahead? Her skills are commendable, but she still has much to learn. Which is why she is the squire and I am the knight. Oh, hello again. Thanks for the advice last time. Unfortunately, the great hero over there wasn't satisfied. Now we're in the exact same position you found us in last time, with my ego-driven master chasing tales and invented monsters. My master will believe anyone who says they have a quest for him. I know, I've seen it happen more than once. I just didn't want to be the person to lie to him. It worked, though, and we raced off to find our... <sighs> glory. I'm not actually sure. We found a knight. My master never bothered to confirm if she was evil. He just challenged her to a duel right there on the road. <sighs> My master did his best. He managed not to get hurt. That's all I can say. The other knight was delighted when my master swore to find her and challenge her again next year. Hey, now that I think about it, she was flirting too. I wonder if my master caught on to that. Oh, hello again. My master will believe anyone who says they have a quest for him. <laughs> Pirates? <laughs> they looked more like fishermen to me. One even threw his net at us. That's when my master decided it was too dangerous and that we had to retreat. My master didn't attack anyone. He screamed something about how all near-duels need to die and got hit by a net. <sighs> my master's already spun himself the tale of his victory against a fleet in Carp Key. Now I need to find another adventure for us. Oh, hello again. My master will believe- Unfortunately... I thought he would give up and search for something else to occupy his time, but he really latched on to the idea of treasure. If we hadn't found some coin purses, we'd likely still be out there. We were out there for so long that I volunteered to scout ahead just to get away from my master. I found some purses. Maybe they were part of a bandit stash? I don't know. But I buried them, and it made my master happy. I regret nothing. Oh! He won't do anything to help people. We've let three villages suffer because their problems weren't grandiose enough. I'm half tempted to invent some great villain just so he'll find the motivation to fight. An evil knight, you say? Huh. You know, that just might be odd enough to work. My knight master will probably spend the entire trip challenging the other knights we meet along the road, but what else is new? I'll tell him about this villain right away. Well, Squire? Do you know where we're going now? Lead on! I'll follow! be helpful.
Hurry now. Find a way to the shield hall. Who are you? Another mercenary? Another mercenary? Running a bit late, aren't you? This one has all the help she needs. They will already cost more than she budgeted for. You do appear quite exceptional, though. Perhaps Emunara could swap out one of the others for you. Ugh, by all the stars. Why must that ghost make this difficult? Emunara didn't even know he'd be here. Who sticks around after they die to give people tests? Uh, this one sympathizes. But when Amunara leaves, the shield goes with her. Amunara supposes that's fair to tell you. There's a story about Lady Garrick's famous shield. R.K. himself anointed it with his blood, allegedly. An ambitious young necromancer could use such an artifact. Draw out its power to become stronger. Who knows what dangers lurk in this old ruin? And Amunara refuses to deal with this trial nonsense. The mercenaries will help me break through into the shield hall. Look, be reasonable. Move on and no one will know. Now this one has work to do. It's quite exciting. Legends say Lady Garrick's shield contains the power of Arke. It preserved her life as long as she held it, yes? If Amunara can absorb that power, think of the possibilities. Normally it wouldn't. Arke can't stand necromancers. We blurred the line between life and death. But Amunara may have found a way to invert the divine energies in the shield. She could give her summon death the same protection Lady Garrick enjoyed. Amunara doesn't like to talk about herself. This one is just a simple Khajiit bone razor trying to make her way in the world. Look, Amunara just met you. Perhaps next time we can swap stories. For now, this one has a shield to acquire. Ignore her poisonous words. Stay true to your honor. This one's binding field? I worked hard to make that. Say goodbye to the shield, Ghost Knight. <sighs> Quickly, enter the first trial. Welcome to your first test, the Trial of Perseverance. Best the foes awaiting you, and unlock the door to pass. A person of honor demonstrates that they will overcome any obstacle with tenacity. The Trial of Perseverance challenges you with unending foes, who will attack ceaselessly until you escape. Or... It did, until Emanara's lackeys wrecked the trial. Typically, I've stocked the room with so many creatures that a challenger must wade through them like mud. As those brutes came through, they had enough people to easily thin the swarm. But no matter. You weren't involved, so it's no harm to your honor. Two rooms with locked exits. Each room swarms with hideous creatures ready to destroy you. Fight through the hordes, then pull the levers to unlock the doors. Only then may you escape.
first exit is now unlocked. Proceed. Second exit is unlocked. Exit to complete the trial. You've shown great endurance, Challenger. Well done. To learn the phrase needed to win the shield, memorize the words on this tablet. Lady Garrick rose from a low-born child to become a highly respected captain in the All Flags Navy. She knew the value of pushing past any obstacle, even when you believe all is lost. You demonstrate this same tenacity. I am impressed. Next, you will encounter the trial of wits. Sailors must know how to think on their feet. No one writes a manual for everything you encounter on the high seas. Now, move quickly. Emanara continues her destruction of the fortress to bypass the wards. Continue south out of this room and through the caves. You will find the Trial of Wits just beyond. Or you can take the shortcut through the East Wall, if heights don't scare you. A magnificent knight. An incredible sailor. She was unrelenting, intelligent, and kind. Serving under her in the Order of the Sacred Shield, even for a millennium, would be an unsatisfying amount of time. Yes, I have watched them tearing down walls across the fortress. She was not exaggerating about her plans to gain the shield. The only way to honorably defeat her is to pass the trials of worth. So hurry, our time slips away.
trial of wits begins here. Observe the four tablets around the room. In the proper order, they will light your path. The worthy must stay clear-minded in unfamiliar situations. They devise solutions to unexpected conundrums. Think through the challenge and keep your wits. Good luck, challenger. Each story will mention a cardinal direction. Use those, along with the Order of the Tablets, to help you succeed. I made it clear to her that I would not bend to her demands. I can make it clear again if I need to. Every part of the story points in a direction, but only the proper order of events provides illumination. My sailor learns from their mistakes. Try once again. A strong first step. Impressive. The next tablet waits beyond the northern door. Read the tablet to learn the next part of the passphrase. Uh -huh. What sorcery comes now? Ah! Brigand, unhand me! Lower the ward, Ghost Knight. Your lady is dead. What does it matter? It's a matter of honor! She changed the rules. We must speak. I have not felt pain in so long. How cruel a villain who causes suffering in an innocent spirit. Before I was defending Lady Garrick's honor, now, mine is at stake. Since you passed the trial of wits, you may proceed. With one alteration. I previously refrained from asking you to attack Emanara. It seemed that defeating her by the trials of worth was the more honorable path. But she's bound me, torn at my home, and now summoned me like a common specter. 
I shall refrain no longer. Yes, but not in some plain manner. We can use Eminara's own sensor to bind her. As you carried it, the device will have reattuned for living energies. Next time we meet her, light the incense, then toss it at her. It will bind her as she trapped me. In her recklessness, Eminara buried the door to the third trial under rubble. But I know a hidden route. First, you'll need the key. I can mark on your map where to find it in the library. We'll reconvene there, after I've pulled myself together. She grasped my soul as though I were still a man of flesh, but lifted me like a child. As you saw, Eminara's patience has run out. I underestimated her. She'll raise the whole fortress for the shield. The quicker you pass the final trial, the better. During centuries of death, one finds many opportunities for study. You'll see how large the library of Garrick's Rest is. I grew curious about my nature, and did some reading. Turns out that spiritual energy manipulation is fairly simple. I won't claim to be a full-fledged necromancer, but Eminara's device looks fairly standard issue to me. The incense is energy receptive. It passively attunes to dominant existential energy nearby. Once triggered, the trap seeks similar energy. As I said, many centuries, my friend.
been a very long time since I've been here. We hid the key under one of the rugs. Hopefully, it's still there. My apologies for not remembering the exact location of the key. I'm certain it is in this room, though. The trial of Constitution will test your hardiness in one of the castle's old training grounds. You can expect to be assailed by dangerous traps and snares. No challenger has completed this trial since I walked among the living. Found it? Excellent. The secret passage is on the top level of the gardens. I'll meet you there. It pains me to think that I'm going to the castle's once beautiful gardens, just to find necromancers and undead there. Oh, may I see? Ah, oh, yes. It's from Lady Garrick, the love of my life. She had to leave to fight a war. Said I could not join her in that war, because I was the only one she trusted to guard the shield. This... should have stayed under the rock. What do you say to some celebratory sweets? Enter, Challenger. I'll see you at the third trial. Careful in there. As you can likely deduce, I haven't used the passage in centuries. It probably has more than a few inhabitants that won't offer a warm welcome. You found your way. Good. Normally, I would not have allowed a challenger to use secret passageways. 
But Emanara's minions changed the nature of this trial. It is no longer as Lady Garrick designed. So, perhaps I can allow some improvisation. Are you prepared for the next trial? You come to the trial of Constitution. How much pain can you endure, Challenger? We shall soon find out. Find a way to unlock the exit without dying. None have passed this final room since before Lady Garrick sailed. Good luck, Challenger. I'm really hoping you'll pull through. Unlocked. The question is, can you make it there? Well done! You actually made it through! The last tablet awaits you. We'll talk after. Congratulations, Challenger! Surviving the trial of Constitution is no mean feat. Examine the tablet. The last of the three words you need is inscribed there. Finally, at long last, someone has accomplished Lady Garrick's third test. She was not a brutal woman, but she did not suffer the weak. It was this attitude that let her ascend so quickly. Now, I have met her equal. Correct. Since you passed all the trials, you learned the passphrase that will let you walk where none have walked for centuries. Just keep following these corridors until you reach the Shield Hall. I'll await you there. I am certain we'll encounter Emanara at the Shield Hall. Be prepared to use the sensor. It should have attuned itself to your unique energy by now. We'll likely only have one chance. Let's make it count. Nada. 
She's distracted. Now's your chance. Use the sensor! Get close and trap her with the sensor, Challenger. I believe in you. What? How? How does it feel, Necromancer? You and your dishonorable ways came close, but not close enough. Challenger, it's time for you to prove your worth. Are you ready? <sighs> Release the Monara! This one must have that shield! A Monara's own sensor? How dare you use that against her? Although the Necromancer has proven herself unworthy, I cannot yet allow you to pass. One more test of worth awaits you. A surprise to ensure you remember your lessons here. Are you ready for the test of virtue? You need to recall the virtues you learned from the tablets after each trial of worth to answer each question, starting with this one. Faced with overwhelming odds, what must the bearer of the shield demonstrate? Correct. Next question. What keeps the bearer of the shield stable and informs their choices? Correct. Final question. Through what quality will the bearer of the shield reach the pinnacle of their potential and ability? With that final and correct answer, I will dispel the wards and grant you access to the sacred shield. Congratulations, champion. You will regret this. This one swears it. Claim what is yours, champion. The shield has a new bearer. My oath is fulfilled. I'm finally free. Thank you, champion. You did as you said you would, and claimed the shield before that necromancer stole it from its resting place. My duty is fulfilled, and I can finally rest. Indeed, Champion. I confess that I was beginning to fear I'd be trapped amid these crumbling ruins forever. This day, I finally follow Lady Garrick on the greatest voyage of all. Thank you again. May you bear the Sacred Shield with honor. Good fortune, wherever your adventures take you. I'm sure that sensor won't hold her forever. Once she's free, she'll likely be quite angry. I suggest you leave this place before that happens, champion.
good quality there. You there. Here, please. Now, you don't know me, but I do know you. Keeping an eye on notable people while going unnoticed is sort of my expertise. The only reason we're speaking is because I'm in something of a predicament. My partner and I were gathering intelligence on behalf of the Dominion in Shipwreck Shoals, but we were caught by Dreadsail Pirates and separated. We can't let the Sea Elves take documents worth so much to the Dominion for themselves. Yes, and I need you to rescue my partner. If she was captured, she'd be consigned to a life of brutal slavery. If you rescue Nari and take care of the documents, I'll forfeit my finder's fee from the Dominion to you. The three things to look out for are enemy messages to collect, Allied documents to destroy, and Nari to bring to safety. You'll find all of them either among the wreckage on the shoals or among the sea elves. Take my skiff to get there. I keep an eye on the sisters for them. Make note of noteworthy people and events, gather information. Exchange it with other eyes and ears around the aisles. Folks beneath notice, Nari among them. The rewards far outweigh the risks. Usually. This is risky business. Informants that get caught shouldn't expect a rescue, but I just can't leave her. The truth of it is, Nari's my sister. Letting her be dragged off by the Sea Elves would make future family gatherings... awkward. It's a particularly treacherous route through the Sisters Archipelago. Anything larger than a skiff that gets pulled in by the currents usually winds up running aground on the shoals. Violently. It's a tempting route for clandestine maneuvers. That makes it a favorite of pirates and Alliance warships seeking to avoid a lot of attention. I suspect the Dread Sail's presence explains why so many ships have been lost lately. I 
take no pleasure in killing, but I'm glad we're alive and they're not. Stendar was with us in that fight. You're paying next time we stop for a meal. Your prowess was befitting a knight. Well done.
glory. I'm alive! Please don't leave me here. Get me out of here, please! Those sea elves are trying to break me, force me to decode documents to help them attack Alliance ships. I can't take much more. Do you have any idea how long I've been in this cage getting nipped at by reef vipers while Titus found you? I bet he was more concerned about those stupid papers than his own sister. Can you open the cage? I want to get out of here. You're a godsend. The sea elves would have fed me to the vipers piece by piece until I decoded the documents they wanted. Are those the documents we were after? You can give them to Titus. I'm done with all this. from harm.
what were you going to do if they hadn't shown up when they did? You do realize that if you weren't my sister, you'd have been on your... Stow it, Nari. They're back. Your actions certainly didn't go unnoticed in there. I take it everything worked out, though? You saved the Alliance. And Nari. At least one of those accomplishments is worth the payment I promised. I'll make sure these documents wind up in the right hands. Oh, and uh, if you see us around in the future, pretend you didn't. It's a shame the sea elves have laid claim to this spot. It was an ideal location for clandestine exchanges. Not irreplaceable, though. It's understandable, given the situation, but I can't say I appreciate her taking it out on me. I took care of the situation the best way I know how. All charging in after her would have accomplished is getting both of us captured, or worse. Don't think I'm done with this, Titus. You were just sitting here cozy while I was getting raked over the barnacles for those documents. That's part of the job, Nari. You knew the risks when you signed... No! Oops. Guess that was just one of the risks of the job, prig.